Hi, I'm Aldo Zilli and welcome to my kitchen. Today, we're going back to Italy. Sicily, in fact. We've got some Mediterranean prawns, we've got some pasta, we've got lots of vegetables. Before I do anything, I need to cook my pasta because this sauce will take exactly the same time as me cooking this pasta. Hot boiling water in a big pan, sea salt, and I'm gonna cook for two. So I've got half a packet and make sure it's all in before you put the lid back on. And that's it, that's gonna cook in about 10 to 12 minutes. In that time, we're gonna make a sauce. I've got a pan here, a non-stick pan. You can use whatever you've got. I've got some extra virgin olive oil right in my pan. I've got some olives, I've got some capers, I've got some tomatoes, which I'm gonna chop. We've got fresh ingredients, we're chopping, we're putting them all in, all at the same time. But the main ingredients for this dish are actually waiting for me, not on this table, but in the freezer. Tomatoes and these capers into this pan first, and the olives in there. All I need now is a little squeeze of lemon juice, and I'm gonna go into the freezer and see what other goodies I can find. Okay, we've got roasted Mediterranean vegetables, we've got some chicken stock, some prawns, some peas, Wow, I've got so many things. I've got garlic, parsley, and basil. All these ingredients are now frozen, but they're gonna be cooked from frozen. And you know what? By cooking them from frozen, you don't compromise on flavor and nutrition. In they go, from frozen. As soon as they go pink and they cook through, they're ready. I'm gonna put them back in the freezer because fish don't last very long outside the freezer. It's time for me to put all the vegetables in. Let's put some frozen peas in there. Lovely. Then we've got frozen vegetables. These are grilled, roasted peppers, aubergine. What else is in there? Courgette. It's like a, like a dip, isn't it? Back in the freezer again for next time. Then we've got garlic. Now this smells like it's just been chopped. It's still the same color. It smells like garlic, it smells really strong. So loads of garlic, it's so good to you. Now I've got a dish here that is gonna cook within about five to six minutes, okay? What we need to add is some chicken stock. So I've got a chicken stock cube here, frozen again. I love this, this is so easy. I'm a chef and I'm finding this interesting because it's so simple. You know, you can go home from work, all of these ingredients are in your freezer. I'm smiling, to be honest. I'm smiling inside. By the time that pasta's ready, we're gonna be ready with this sauce. Now, we're gonna turn the gas up, and that needs a little bit of water, just to help and make it into a sauce. Some seasoning, very important. Some pepper. There you go. Now we're going to grate some zest of lemon. Okay, so that takes another couple of minutes to cook. So we're gonna add a little extra virgin olive oil. Put my vegetables back in the freezer for next time. As you can see, everyone, no waste, no mess, you name it. That's it, it's all gone. Back in the freezer, we used again. Three or four minutes, by which time my sauce here will be nearly ready. Because you know what we're going to do? We're going to drain that pasta into this sauce just before it's actually finished cooking so that the pasta will finish the cooking in the sauce and it will absorb all these wonderful flavors you must make sure they cook and the way to check to cut them in half is they've got to be white all the way through no blue so that's cooked my pasta must be cooked by now turn the gas down simmer away now here we go voila As I said, that's the sauce, fantastic. Let the, let the pasta finish the cooking now in there. In the meantime, we're gonna add some basil first. It smells like fresh basil. Okay, so let's put some basil in there, very strong, so don't, don't overdo it. Then we've got some flat leaf parsley here, again frozen. That goes in. 
and these can go back in the freezer. With everything else, it's frozen, it's back in the freezer, and it's resealed and ready for me to use another time. We finish this dish by squeezing some lemon juice, parmesan. Some people say you shouldn't have parmesan with fish, but you know what? I like, I love it too much. Onto the plate, fit for the queen. I'll definitely have it. Okay, so there's pasta there, and there's a sauce. All the ingredients marry together so well. It smells fantastic. Go and buy some tiger prawns and some frozen vegetables and cook this for your friends, for your family. Your friends will be back.